life is complicated. Lives are complicated. The lives of artists seem to be even more complicated because whatever the art may be, they attempt to delve into the whys and what fors and consequences of difficult lives. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I've always felt that way about artists and why so many artists seem to have lives that are just so convoluted and so mixed up. Well, this book about James Joyce is about all of that and then the genius that comes out of it. This is a is a biography, but it is not a long biography, and the intent on in O'Brien's writing this was not to go through the entire life, but it was to explore the person James Joyce was and why the writings ended up being what they were. Because if you don't define him, if you don't take a look at who he was, what he was, how he lived, you have a very hard time defining his works, which in many cases can be very hard to define even when you're reading them. But this, uh, I like this book because it is short, because it is concise, and because I think it is fair in giving a true appraisal of the individual, James Joyce, and his works, which of course are legendary in literature around the world. Very hard to read James Joyce works. This biography is not hard to read. And it gives you a real, real good look inside the man and what he lived and how convoluted it was for him to get through life many times on just a day-to-day -day basis. And then you think about the work that he did. How did he ever go from the life he was living, the problems that he had, and get to the genius of the literary work that he created? That's what this book's about. And if you enjoy great literature, like to know about those who wrote it, O'Brien's book is a good one for taking a close-up and personal look at James Joyce.